Hi everyone. Trees. Trees and more trees. That's going to be the topic of the day. Now, in particular, homemade trees, which these are. I'll give you a close-up look at those. So what we're going to do is basically run through how I make these trees. So let's get started. Now first of all to make the actual tree trunks and branches we're just going to use some normal electrical wire which I have here, pretty thin, pretty fine and not too rigid because if it's too rigid it's too hard to work with so this seems to be about the right consistency and we're in end gauge so we're not making massive trees we're only making you know, relatively small trees out of this wire. So I've stripped the wire, I've got about um, no, about 12 centimetres there, just depends how big you're going to make the tree. So basically part of it will be the trunk and then we'll just make the branches out of these parts here. So if we just cut it off here and we just leave a little bit of the insulation on, that'll keep the wires together. And then basically from here on in, it's just a matter of twisting. Now if you want to make this thicker, we'll just we can just grab another lot and put it next to that to make the trunk a bit thicker. So I've stripped off another piece roughly the same length and we can just twist all those together now. So I probably made this one a bit long, we can trim that later anyway. But now what you need to do is just to grab a few strands and just pull out your branches. So you just start twisting that where it joins up here. And then you can uh, branch them out even further. Just make sure you leave enough wires so you can make smaller and smaller branches. So there's just lots and lots of twisting of wires. So here we have our wires all twisted into branches. Now you don't have to make it look perfect, just whatever. Every tree's different out there. So to cover the tree, what I use is a mixture of sawdust and PVA glue. And I just mix this in a resealable container because we are going to come back and probably do a few coats. So we can just seal this up so it doesn't dry out in between the coats. So we'll just mix that up, you don't want it too thin because then it'll run everywhere so it's a little bit more than that. We can always add more sawdust if it's too wet but you'll see as you put it on whether you've got it right or not whether it's too dry or too wet. Okay, so just with a brush, get a bit of the mix. It's going to make a bit of a mess. And just slap it on. Now you'll need to do several coats of this. So you just keep going and uh, let it dry in between the coats. might have to thin that out a bit, it's probably a bit too thick at this stage so we'll thin that out and then we'll um, cover the whole thing okay here we are, we've put our PVA and sawdust mix on there like you saw, so we've put about three coats on there now 
Yeah, don't don't be too fussed if all the wire is not covered completely. And when we paint it, it'll um cover that up. But you just want to get enough on there so you're happy with the textures on the branches and the trunk. So that's what it looks like. Bring it up close. And the good thing about it, the way it is, it's all flexible. So if it, something doesn't look right, you can just move it to wherever you want. You can twist the wires around still. So now it comes time to paint it in the color of your choice. Now try and use a matte paint. You don't want to end up with a shiny tree, I guess. So I can use the acrylics here. I've got several different colors. You can use browns or you can go the gray or whatever you want to do. I might try the, um, what have we got here? Brown earth. Got burnt sienna as well. So you basically just try and what, which, whichever one you want to do, whatever color, it's fine. Okay, so we'll let that dry. You can put some highlights on there of lighter colours if you wish. It's just up to you here. What you think looks good for your layout. So the next uh, thing we're going to have to do is let this dry and then um, we'll uh, start putting the foliage on. Right, now we finish finished painting here. Various shades of brown and do some dry brushing or some lighter colours if you like. Whatever you think looks good. So now to put the foliage on first, get some of this polyfiber and all you need is little tiny bits of it, you don't need a lot and what that's going to do is we'll put those on the branches like this. Then we'll use some spray glue or hairspray to stick those down. We'll do that first. So just put little clumps of that around. You can trim all the excess bits later on if you like. So just put little clumps of that on the branches. And like I said, give it a, we'll give it a spray with um, some glue or hairspray. And then from there, we'll put the foliage on. So we'll just go and finish all that. Sprayed it with a hairspray, give it a bit of a haircut if you like at this stage. We can wait till later, it doesn't really matter, but if there's any sort of really big bits that stick out, worth trimming them now. So now we'll go and grab some foliage and uh, we'll um, stick that on. Okay, so we'll give this another spray of the hairspray. You see it going on there. And we'll just get some of our scatter and we'll just lightly sprinkle. Like you can dip it in there, but I find that um, you get more control. This way you don't want to get it all over the trunk and that at this stage. So we'll do that. Give that another one with the um, glue or hairspray. So 
So then you can even leave it like a single colour or you can put little flower things on. But I think I'll get another, maybe a lighter or da maybe a darker green. I'll just grab that and we'll put a bit of that on as well. So here we got a bit of uh, Woodland Scenic Splendid Turf. It's what all I can find. and It's not that much darker than the other one, but it's got a sort of a mix in there. So we'll try that and see how that goes. Again, a bit of a spray. And then grab a bit turf, scatter, whatever you got. On top like that. Basically tap off the excess. I can give that another spray again just to seal that off. Okay, so that's a fairly dense tree. I've done that that way, like this other one I've done. You can just put little clumps of the fibre on individual, or you can just cover the whole thing like that. It just depends what sort of tree you want to do. And then we can go around and uh, trim those bits off there that we don't need. Just go around, trim off whatever you want, trim off. So that's it. So I hope you enjoyed the video. It inspires you to make your own trees. And uh, thanks for watching once again. And we'll uh, see you soon.